Hi, Grandpa. Hello, Alexi, dear. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm hanging in there. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Thanks for joining on this Zoom with me. I was hoping that you could tell us a bit about why you decided to leave Munster and how you chose to move to the Weinberg community at Gidwitz Place. We had in Munster a seven-room house. It required a fair amount of work. It also had a number of steps, and uh, uh, your dear uh, grandma, my wife Ursula, uh, had to be very careful in terms of getting in and out of the building and um, and going around this room, this large uh, uh, seven-room home. And uh, we were getting older. We've been very happy here. Can you tell us about some of the poems that you wrote to grandma while she was in, in rehab after breaking her leg earlier this oh, no. So when Ursula fell down here, she was recovering. And I thought, well, I kind of missed her, you know, it's uh, when you're married almost 67 years now, you get a little lonesome and your wife isn't around. And I knew she would feel better if she heard from me now and then other than just for a visit. So I owed her little poems, you know, just little things to, make her feel good. So before this pandemic hit, what were some of your favorite things about living at Gidwitz Place? They had all kinds of interesting uh, programming here. They had two or three rabbis coming by, giving lectures on various subjects, conducting services. We had uh, music programs, uh, people, groups coming in, singing, instrumentalists. I mean, there was something going on uh, every day, all day. So uh, it certainly kept us busy. Throughout this pandemic and being in quarantine, you've you've had to get adjusted to some new technology. At 91 years old, it's, it's quite impressive. I'm glad they've developed all this technology so I can uh, see your face and talk to you. So it's really, uh, you try to make the best of it, you know, being Absolutely. isolated in, uh, in, in this uh, very, very nice home. Are there programs within, within Weinberg that are put on that you're able to join via Zoom or the, the TV? Uh, yeah, actually, they've, we, have, we have news programs here. Uh, we have exercise programs. Um, they also have programs on Channel 15. We have the services of uh, uh, Rabbi Stern, who is on, on the staff. She has given lectures on the Jewish subjects. She's also uh, come around every Friday afternoon going from floor to floor, floor singing Shabbat songs. Um, we've had occasional fri uh, Friday night and Shabbat morning services. So there are things going on all the time. Unfortunately, now we can, we can go outside. It shows that you know, the staff and really the organization are trying to do uh, the best they can that the law and conditions will allow, but to try to satisfy the needs of the 130 some people in this home. Are there certain programs at Weinberg that you're looking forward to continuing? We have discussion groups. Uh, we have people who lead those things. Um, there is a Sashi Kraft who comes in every week. There's uh, a, couple of, a couple of rabbis, like Rabbi uh, Walken, retired from uh, Beth Shalom, who, who comes over here periodically, gives, gives us the latest in Jewish news. We have others coming in giving lectures. We were part of what was called the ambassador program. So a new families moved in or a new individual. My wife Ursula and I would meet the people and try to help them out to get, to get settled here, to uh, let them know about what programs they have, to help them get uh, make, make this their, their new home. What are you looking forward to the most when this pandemic ends, or at least eases? For the world to open up again in terms of, you know, nor normalcy, where we can hopefully get back in my car and come over and drive and visit you and maybe see your, your some God willing, uh, after September, your larger family. In the meantime, we have to do our best to uh, keep going and thank God for keeping us alive. And, and CJE too, because they've done a super job of keeping us, keeping us all well, which is really the number one uh, priority here. It was a pleasure uh, uh, talking to you, even if, even if only by Zoom. I know, I was going to say, I love seeing you on Zoom, even better in person, but but right. still I'll absolutely do for now. Right. As long as I get to see okay. you. Okay, so all the best. I love you. Right. Yeah, love you too.